Strawbridge recalled disgruntled ex-employee believed to be behind sewing needles in strawberries. Holy dilly, that could be very, very bad. Okay, so guys, um, there has been a recall on all products of strawberries in Australia. Um, if you have strawberries, throw them out. Just toss them out. It's not worth the risk. A, uh, the Queensland Strawberry Growers Association suspects a disgruntled ex-employee was behind the sewing needles found in a number of strawberries sold by Woolworths. In a statement, the association said it had reason to suspect it was a former employee and was waiting on more information from the Queensland Police. Police and Queensland Health have weighed in concerns to dispose or return pallets of two brands of strawberries. So the products in recall are the Berry Licious and Berry Obsession, which were sold in Queensland, New South Wales and in Victoria. So if you have brought a Berry Licious or Berry Obsession pack of, of strawberries in Queensland, New South Wales or Victoria, please throw them out. Please. Uh, Queensland Chief Health Officer uh, Dr. Janet Young said the contaminated brands came from a farm in southeast Queensland and were sold to Woolworths but also could have been sold or distributed to other stores. So even if you didn't buy them at Woolworths, maybe Coles or whatever, it might be worthwhile tossing them. If you have any strawberries, it'd be the safest to dispose of them, Dr. Young said. Strawberries Australia Industry Development Officer Jennifer Rowing said it was an isolated incident and strawberries in general were safe to eat, recommending people chomp them in half if they were still concerned. As far as we're concerned, our growers take pride in what they produce. So a man in hospital after swallowing half a sewing needle. So the, this is the original story. Uh, Dr. Young said the incidents, three incidents have been reported to police, including one in Queensland and two in Victoria. One person did consume a contaminated strawberry and they're being assessed at the moment, she said. A Facebook user posting a warning several days ago about the pallet of very obsession strawberries purchased from Woolworths at the Strathpine Centre on Brisbane's north side said his friends swallowed half a sewing needle. Uh, what, uh, we then checked the other strawberries and found another sewing needle lodged inside one of them, Joshua Gain said. We are now at the ER because he subsequently started experiencing severe abdominal pain. Mr. Glain later said that he received a call from the store manager at the Strathbourne Centre who said it would be an issue, a total recall on all the pallets. The suspect is a foul play, but we're unsure whether the via supermarket, uh, by supplier, Woolworths, or a customer, the post said. And obviously, since then, we found out it was actually most likely a ex employee. Um, so, look at the end of the day, guys. Obviously, what's my takeaway on this? What's my thoughts? Um, obviously, it's disgusting. Um, it might be worthwhile just double checking all the strawberries that you eat for the next month or so. Just by biting them in half or, or cutting them into like quarters or something if you want to break them up a little bit more. Um, but if you've definitely gone through and brought a a a, a, a strawberry that is, is a berry licious or a berry obsession from Woolworths at least in Queensland, New South Wales or Victoria, please disregard them or throw them out to be safe. Uh, apart from that, guys, I love my strawberries. This is kind of really embarrassing for the, the company or the, the, the industry. Um, and hopefully they get the guy and they throw the book at him. Um, but yeah, just guys, obviously, public service announcement. Just, uh, yeah, um, just remember to uh, get rid of all your strawberries. Apart from that, guys, um, obviously, if you can, share this video. Uh, let's get the information out there. I haven't seen a lot of other people talk about this. Um, so let's go through, let's cover this, and let's get this video out. Um, and so hopefully nobody else will have the same situation as these other three guys. Apart from that guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.